A cover crop is, is a crop that you purposely plant or seed that is not your cash crop. Both in agriculture and horticulture, um, I think the biggest misunderstanding or misconception about cover crops is that they compete with your cash, cash crop. So we spent a lot of years, actually since uh, World War II, trying to keep everything clean. It's all about only growing on and only having in our soil the, the crop that we're trying to, to pull cash from. Those times are, cha are changing, we're becoming much wiser. But uh, the one thing is that it competes with, with my cash crop against water and nutrients, uh, when in fact uh, we are lo learning that the complete opposite is, is actually true. The benefits are many. First of all, when you decide to grow a cover crop, you have to be clear on why you want to grow it. Are you trying to suppress weeds? Are you trying to build your soils? Are you trying to break up a hard pan in your soil? Are you trying to fix nit nitrogen, uh, bring in beneficial insects, uh, on and on? The, the list is long. And a lot of times you can actually have blends that are doing some of all of it um, or multiple things. So you want to be clear on what you want to do, and uh, you can have tremendous benefit from it. In understanding how cover crops work, uh, one of the things um, over the last few years that we have been looking at is to use cover crops for beneficial insects. We learned this year that it is actually possible to be building our soils while we are growing our cash crop. And that's particularly important for us with trees. Um, they are very hard on our soils in the sense that they take a lot out of our soils. So having the ability to build our soils by growing a cover crop, the right cover crop, uh, while we're still growing our trees, that was a big one. And that is ex the exact thing that we'll be doing this year. We will be taking some measurements before and after to prove that, that we indeed can do that and to what extent we can do it. The only cons I can find with cover crops is if cover crops are used in an incorrect way. So if you didn't do your research and truly understood what the varieties you had put in were doing, you can actually create a, a competition with the cash crop. But as long as you do your research and figure out exactly um, what the right varieties are, so find a companion plant rather than a competing plant, that will be the goal. That's about the only con. Uh, pros list is really long amongst some of all the things that I already men mentioned. One tip about cover crops, it would be get into it really get to understand uh, the benefit that they can have for you. There isn't many crops today that are grown, whether it's in agriculture or horticulture, that would not and could not benefit from the grower researching what their crops needs are and then matching that up with, with the right cover crop. So I think the biggest one, research it, look into it, get into it, uh, and you will save a lot of money. Uh, your farm will look prettier. Um, there's a lot, a lot of benef benefits. What is my favorite cover crop? I don't have one. Um, I really don't. I, I've grown very um, in favor of and really get to love the mixture in which you have your different textures, different blooms. Uh, and those blooms are at different times. Um, so really, a, a cover crop blend is, I prefer that uh, far more than anyone. And it's, it's nice to be able to go out and watch that and to be able to, after the crop is gone, go in your soil and measure what the, the difference is. I love the idea of the multiple levels that you, that you gain 
not only during the growing season, but also after.